An historical day indeed for members of the Bahamas Union of Teachers as they officially launched their first book entitled The Profession of Professions from Mabel Walker to Wilson, an oral history of the BUT during a special release ceremony at the Ministry of Works Physical Plant Building on JFK Today. Thirteen presidents of the Bahamas Union of Teachers are featured in the book for their invaluable contribution to the struggle for teachers' rights in this country. The book was written and compiled by our very own Patty Roker. An emotional president President of the Bahamas Union of Teachers, Belinda Wilson, reflected on the union's rich history over the past 70 years. We started to um, compile the information for this book in 2012. And during that time, you know the story, three years I was suspended and I was able to come back in June and have the book completed. Not only that, we have family members here from some of our past presidents who are now deceased. And so a few of them have been, you know, very emotional. And I just realize now the impact of writing the history of the Bahamas Union of Teachers from 1947 to present. So I hope that this will be helpful, um, not only for trade unionists, but also for students in our schools. Meanwhile, former Teachers Union President Leonard Archer, the wife of former President Carlton Francis, and the granddaughter of Mabel Walker all reflected on the contributions made to teachers and the country's trade union movement. You know, she's part of the women's suffrage movement. Um, but at the end of the day, she would be proud that this book is being written um, to tell the history. And it's important that we continue to fight for what is just and what is right in our country today. I was considered to be one of the leaders of a teacher strike. <laughs> um, it was, in fact, I became the chief spokesperson. As the secretary general, I was the chief spokesperson for the union and was involved, of course, in all the decisions that were made about, uh, you know, about the strike. He was a very colorful person. He spoke uh, on issues that people were afraid to, uh, you know, to deal with. And he had a lot of confrontations with the Ministry of Education at that time. But, of course, the Bahamas Union of Teachers has come a long way. And I am so pleased that they're documenting the history.